Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Yeah, man, we're making this little short epistle through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know? Man, so upset right now, bro. So we're going to make an epistle. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna bring it out. Let's bring it out. And in in let's bring it out, man. We're gonna go straight to the book of. Uh, and I got my phone here. I think we're gonna use mostly the phone. I want to go to the uh, get this revelations. Get the title of this epistle real quick. Revelation chapter twelve, verse eleven. Okay. It says, "And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives." Unto the death, bro. They love not their lives unto the death, bro. They love not their lives unto the death. And that's going to be the title of this, this epistle. They love not their lives, right? Man. And, of course, on the screen over here, I got Ecclesiastes. Uh, let me find it. Where is that? Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression making a wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart, bro. Surely oppression making a wise man mad and a gift part destroyed the heart. Let me put this thing on real quick. See if it is Lord willing it's gonna work. Uh so yeah, man. So I just uh you know my damn driver's license about to expire soon. You know, I'll praise it to you how about Shema Shah that I saw it and I caught it, you know, so I still got like like some time, a lot like a, a almost a whole month, a month and a half almost. You know to get it done but i made an appointment early trying to you know play by the rules and everything and uh the uh went down there and uh i took pretty much everything they they told me to get i already you know got it i got I, you know through the spirit and power how about my shot man the other day i went went for a search to find my birth certificate and social security card and i got that got it and went down there with it and guess what Oh, you gotta have the original birth certificate. But it says that it said this is a certified copy by such and such a lady, whoever the clerk is, signed that I had been, I had I had been having that thing since 1995 or something like that. Because I remember when I had to get that one. I've been traveling with it on the airplane and shit like that. You know, it's just that these damn demons, bro. That's why, man. Come on, y'all. Surely oppression making a wise man mad and the gift destroyed the heart and they love not their lives into the death. Let's go bring out this epistle. Um, just a little short epistle through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah because there's a lot of Israelites out here that talk about how much they love being here in Babylon the Great. They want to they wanna set up shop here. They think their house is going to go on forever here. They believe in Esau and his wicked ass kingdom. They have no idea that this is the end of an age. They have no idea that they're yet this day in our captivity, bro. And they love it here, bro. We hate it here. We can, we can't wait for this shit to be turned upside, turned right side up, should I say? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter ten, verse one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, bro, to turn aside the needy from from judgment and to take away the the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless, bro. You know, on top of all this other stuff. You know, on top of everything, the, all the damn rip, the running around, and all that stuff. Then you got to pay on top of it. You know, you got to pay to be a part of this wicked ass society. And you know what's going to happen? Let's go get that. Let's go get that Isaiah one more time, bro. Warn to them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness, which they grievousness, grief, grievousness, which they have prescribed. Yeah, this thing's a grievous, bro. Okay? And you know what's about to happen next? Not they're gonna take it a step further with this with this M A R K that uh you know those the Lord did not bless to believe this word of truth. They're gonna fall for it because it's gonna be the hour of temptation. You know, uh, Revelation chapter thirteen uh verse sixteen. And he causes all, both small, great, you know, those with a lot of money and those that ain't got about a pot, don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. You know, homeless people, everybody, free and bond. You know, the ones in jail, 
you know and the ones that think they're running around here but yet this day in our captivity to receive an M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their forehead so you know Yehaba Shemasha says it's gonna come upon all the world to try them bro and that no man might buy you know be in, in the commerce they're not gonna be able to to um, move around in this society like we're doing now you know just like the uh, just like recently the exercise that we had before where you couldn't go into the store unless you had the diaper face on you know and then they took it a step farther telling you you had to get the the, the, the medicine you know before you some people you know lost their jobs over it because they didn't want to take the medicine but that's what's going to happen when when the, the implementation of this thing right that we're reading right here in the book of revelation chapter 13 verse 17 that no man might be able to, to com commerce or be a part of this society you know to go in and out of the supermarkets or to go online and do things and as you can see right now i'm so upset about you know i'm calming down now because we you know we got to understand surely a pressure to make it a wise man man how about you i said be angry and sin not so you know just under being aware that we're yet this day in our captivity but it, it, it's it, you know it gets on your nerves sometimes and we understand i'm about to get a good go get a scripture right now um because you want to walk in the spirit you know be in the spirit so all praise to you how about you for this truth um you know i didn't blow up or nothing like that it was just another fucking let down you know that we're you know uh title of this epistle they love not their lives until the, until the death just another let down so when these things start to happen we're going to be happy you know the strippers say that Yahweh Shemashah is going to appear to our joy right but they're going to be ashamed so let's go back to Revelation chapter 13 Salaki and then no man might buy you know or be a part of this commerce to you know uh, unless he done took that M-A-R-K in their in their little hands or in their forehead man you know and that's the, that's the, how the story goes and that's the hour of temptation but you have a shemashah has told us in the book of revelation chapter 3 uh verse 10 right here because thou hast kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth bro because we've, we we believe this word of truth we've kept this word you know um oh yeah i want to get this luke chapter 22 verse 31 real quick because you got to be aware man be circumspect and salaki bro i believe on the last epistle i did this morning i think i had the music turned up a little bit more too much because some some song some some music background music is louder than other background music so you might you know think it's okay and it should be always okay at eight you know or nine but some music is louder than others and you you, you can't really tell the difference you know until you play it back okay so lot so 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 lucky brothers if it's if it's too loud sometimes and i i really don't that's not my intention i wanted to be in the back background so i might have to start turning it down low 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 and not use it at all because it's all about the word of yahweh okay um this is the book of luke <laughs> and through the spirit look the, the stereo turned off at that point through the spirit and power of yahweh this is the book of luke chapter 22 verse 31 and the lord said Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, right? And, you know, coming back to, to the understanding of the truth, we understand that Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. So, you know, he just like his damn daddy. He, he you know, trying to sift us and try to get us all upset. He's the sword of the Lord, you know. He's the accuser of the brethren. He's the damn son of perdition. You know, he's the harbinger of death. The damn, the destroyer. This this man is the the, the wicked. He saw you in the Caucasian race with all his damn policies and everything, man. He just, man, he got to be taken down, bro. So all praises to you, Habba Shemasha, for this understanding, for this truth. Like the book of uh, Psalms speaks about Psalm 73. Until I went into the house of Yahweh Shemasha, then I understood his latter end. So this book of Luke chapter 22 verse 31 And the Lord said Simon Simon behold Satan has desired to have you That he may sift you as, as wheat But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not And when thou art converted Strengthen thy brethren bro So yeah hey it's okay man to get upset Let's go get them scriptures real quick You know be angry but sin not And Ephesians I'm gonna go get that Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 Real quick Hey be angry 
and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath right and that's why we just read neither look neither give place to the devil okay look so don't when you get all upset like this like you know right now you know we're not gonna have no drink you know we're not gonna gonna uh, smash in no windows you know we're not gonna steal nothing we're not gonna go commit adultery to blow off some steam and all that shit you know we're gonna obey you how about Romans chapter 13 obey the, the law of the land okay and obey first and foremost you how about Shema and then doing that you're gonna obey you know you're gonna understand that we're yet this day in our captivity and these this is our punishment you know we're gonna bear the indignation of of him because we've sinned against you how about Shema until he plead our cause I want to go to the book of Baruch chapter 3 verse 8 it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to, to be subject to payments, brothers and sisters, according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the, the Lord our God. So now, being returned, we're going to seek you. How about Shema Shah ten times more? All right? Let's read this one more time, man. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. But no, no. You got some damn Israelite out here that they still think they're Americans and shit. Damn Christians and shit they are Muslims talking about how much they love their enemy. They, they everybody should be okay. I saw a little I saw a little clip the other day, a little video clip somewhere. I can't remember what it was or or oh it could have been was it GMS Feed the Flock? I can't remember, bro. It's a lucky man. I you know how the little you know how the little old mind be working these days. Just trying to hold on to this truth, man. Lord willing, Lord gonna allow us to endure until the end and hold that fast which we have. But I saw information, got a little information about all the nations are for their own nation, you know, and like like white supremacy, so to speak, or either, uh, you know, the Japanese, the Chinese, they think they're above everybody else, you know, everybody, they, even the Hamites, but but the so-called Israelites, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indians, they the one that want to love everybody and everybody should be equal. They the one that bought the lie, but everybody else is for themselves, you know. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God, bro. Come on, let's go ahead and wrap it up, man. I just wanted to bring it out. Lord willing, it's going to be, you know, a little ex exhortation, edifying. Um, you know, just to hold on, brothers, through all these, you know, light afflictions, all right? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. You know, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Right. Just like we were just speaking about, about these Israelites that love everybody, you know, that that that, that uh, believe in this damn wicked ass oppressive system that's fine and OK with it. And that's why we plan this song also in the background. This is common. It's an old song, old older uh, album like Water for Chocolate is the name of the album. And this song that's playing right now is. Uh, it's the questions it's the questions because there's a part in in this thing that i thought about while i was standing there at the window to this lady while she's telling me i gotta go get another damn certified birth certificate even though this one say that it's certified copy right oh my goodness i was like yeah i, I called them the fujis though I, I forgot it was coming um and that's why you know your scriptures the scriptures say knowledge will be increased so you know we got all this knowledge at the finger at our fingertips like i have uh Right here, I got the, uh, I got, I pulled up this thing, the history of the birth certificates. You know, and shorter than you think, just questions. I, I typed in uh, when and why was a, was a birth certificate uh, implemented. And it says during World War II, the importance of the birth certificate was emphasized as it became proof of citizenship, which was needed to become eligible for employment. Thus, the birth certificate became a legal, legal document used for determining citizenship as well as an important source of Pre, pre, per, in, 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 epidemiology. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to look up that word, bro. It says a birth certificate is a vital record that documents the birth of a person. Maybe that's that's probably what it means. Uh, the term birth certificate can refer to either the origin, the original document, and uh, you know, just going down the list a little bit. But we all know that's how to keep track of the of the herd, keep track of the goyim, you know, 
and keep them in line. And, you know, just like we were speaking about in the book of Revelations, chapter 13, now they want to make you a perpetual slave. Now they want to put, now they want to put that CHIP in your ass so they can track you, so they can uh, chastise you. And, you know, if you get out of line and turn your damn money off, um, yeah, they, they want to know everything about you. They want to know your thoughts, where you're going, who you're going with, what you, how long you're going to be gone, when you're coming back, you, you know. Con full control They want to be like Yahweh by Shema Shai bro Alright And you got people out here That's why we got this description right here Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 Warn to them that call evil good and good evil That's right Destruction to them That put darkness for light and light for darkness That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter Okay Warn to them that are wise in their own eyes And prudent in their own heart Okay yeah, man, because this word of truth is out. Now you have no cloak for your sins. Let you know who your enemy are, who your enemy is. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and all these other nations round about thee. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. Uh, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Right, right because the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are commanded to repent to the one true living God right now, bro. Stop messing around. We're letting you know that we're the ones... You know, that stood in front of Moses and got the law, statute, commandments. That the Bible is only written for the children of Israel. Psalms chapter 147 verse 19, my man. Okay? I, Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Alright? Yeah. This word is for the children of Israel only. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And you'll know that I'm in the midst of Israel and I'm the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So when the Lord come back and, and you know, if you ain't repenting to the one true living God, you're going to be looked at as a heathen man. So this is what we're reading right here. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You want to still have stock in this wicked ass uh, oppressive kingdom? Dick, okay, you're going to go down with it. You know, how about Shemashah coming back for the 144, hopefully like the one third of Israel. That's why we're praying and hoping, you know, that he's shortening the days, man. To get us the hell up out of here. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him. Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And you see the man out here standing on the highways and hedges. Crying and sighing for all the abomination that be done in the midst of. Bringing out this word of truth. Condemning this wicked ass world. On the four corners of the earth. Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the end come bro you know roughly paraphrasing and the Lord said Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 and the Lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and the cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof and to the others he said in mine hearing go ye after him you know go after him through the city and smite smite means to kill to cut down let not your eye spare, neither have pity, okay? Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom the mark is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary, and they begin at the ancient man which were before the house, bro. That's what time we're living in, bro. This is the book of Luke, and we're going to close it out with Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And he spoke a parable, a parable unto them at, to this end. That men ought to always pray and not to faint. So, you know, don't let the devil, you know, don't let him mess with with us too much, bro. You know, just always, you know, come back to the spirit and be like, okay, yeah, that was that was that was real funny, devil. But you know, you how about Shemasha already let us know that you're gonna be doing these things, bro. Just like this time of Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be, you know, the time of trouble. You're gonna be fucking with us. You're the sword of the Lord. You know, but all these things are created for the wicked. That's why we're hoping and praying to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always pray and not to faint, saying, There was there was in a city a judge that feared not Yahweh Shemashah, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversaries. Yes, it's just like we're saying, Please, Yahweh Shemashah, please come and deliver us out of the hands of these damn enemies. You know? All the damn jumping up and down through the th jump through the hoop, jump through this hoop, nigga. Jump over this new hoop, nigga. Work yourself to death, nigga. Get your ass up in the morning. Go back and do it all over again. Don't ask no questions. And he would not. He would not for a while. But afterwards, he said within himself.
though I fear not God nor regard a man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, at least by her continually coming, she weary me. That's right. Give Yahweh Shemashah no rest, bro. Give him no rest. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God, Yahweh Shemashah, avenge his own who? Elect. The 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel. You know, that's who the Lord talking about saving, delivering. Okay, not all people, not even all Israel at this time. Though all Israel shall be saved, they're gonna come back in the kingdom of heaven through the nutsack of the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, bro. And shall not Yahweh Shemashah avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with him? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth, bro? That's correct, man. He will. Because he's going to put the Spirit in those men. Lord willing, we're part of that number. To wait patiently, to believe, to be faithful unto death. You know, some of you standing here may not taste of death. But the Lord's put the Spirit on us to, to hold fast to, that, to this truth. Lord willing, we're going to endure it to the end, okay? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The prophecies are speaking loud and clear, baby. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth. So we're going to be going through it, man. Surely it'll make oppression making a wise man mad, bro. But be angry and sin not. Just be patient and pray and be thankful. Thankful that we're going through these afflictions. I understand these afflictions right now, bro. You know, so we don't be judged with the world. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekai, Quidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.